Stefan's being a hero right now. And he's trying to put a pin in our Watton C. We lost the pin. Then we used a bobby pin, which I had for my hair. And it fell out. And um, now I just made something out of a um, key ring. And he's going to try to put it in there. And hopefully he's not going to get soaking wet. So it's like doing surgery while the uh, train is moving here. There's about 18, 17 to 18 knots of wind. We're going upwind in rough sea state. Oh, soaking wet. And we're going about eight knots. Uh, the update is we're on our way to Martinique. We left uh, 4 p.m. local time uh, Nevis. We rounded uh, Nevis and the wind direction is not too bad. It's 90 degrees average. We were hoping for a little, little higher, but, um, but we have a little bit more wind, like 17, 18 knots. The period is okay. The boat is doing this, but uh, only slamming once in a while. We reduce speed, we have a stay sail, one reef in the main, and the main is depowered and twisted. Um, so, I guess you looked at the latest forecast and we hope uh, it's going to taper down for the night. And then we can maybe unfurl the Genoa or something, we'll see. So anyway, for another night, no sunset. <laughs> it's pretty gray everywhere. And uh, yeah. What else do you have to say? How are you feeling? Uh, it's a bit overcast and um, yeah, we'll just have to get through some of these stronger winds and the uh, big waves. Okay, things are looking up a little bit. It's uh, midnight or one o'clock, I forget. The moon rose above the clouds, so now we can see the, the waves on our port bow. Uh, since we left uh, Nevis, it's been 18, 20, even at times 20 plus knots. The waves are coming a little bit uh, um, much to the beam, and so we're kind of... Uh, I don't know if you can see right now, probably not on the camera, but the boat is going... Uh, uh, not only up and down from the bow to stern, but also <laughs> side to side. Uh, so we have two reefs in the main, and we have the stay sail. I'm glad we did this earlier because at some point it was uh, 22, 24, and the sea state was not super comfortable. So. That was good. Now the question is, um, are we going to shake one reef? Uh, hard to tell because uh, the uh, the wind is probably going to be unstable. But we'll see. Uh, quick update. It's Tuesday midday. So in the background here, that's Dominica. Um, you might see under the clouds. Uh, some islands from Guadeloupe and mainland. So right now, every time you go through uh, in between islands, uh, you get the trade winds. We're under stay sail. So grateful for that stay sail. And we have a uh, two reef in the main. So everything is uh, as comfortable as it can be. Um, as the wind shifts right or left, uh, we adjust a little bit our angle to the wind to, um, to uh, make sure we have a, 
an angle that is okay with the waves because at times you can get the waves on the side so we're just playing with that although you get um, although you get some um, funky winds uh, when we're on the leeward side of uh, Guadeloupe uh, so dominant winds have been easterly winds but at some point on the leeward side and we were not that close to the coast but we had the southerly wind how's your morning so far I just wanted to end. <laughs> what do you want to end? The, this. Upwind. This. Yeah, well, at least we're not tacking. Back the rodeo. Forth. Yeah, the rodeo. Well, we're not tacking at least, yeah? We're just like on one tack, but it's upwind. You can be, look at the bright side all you want. I just want it to end. <laughs> okay. I'm how, over it. How do we make it to end? Uh, we anchor as quickly as possible. Okay, well, let's get there before dark then. Yeah. You have to remember up to this point, we've been nonstop sailing upwind for the last eight or 900 miles, give or take, with another 150 left to go. Apparently, a thousand nautical miles upwind is my personal threshold. But we made a new friend along the way and I had to clean the deck later. Oh man, look at you. So behind me, that's the coast of Dominica. We're currently in the wind shadow of this uh, big peak, but you um, can see the white caps. The wind is coming back. Uh, right now we're motor sailing, uh, just uh, with the main, two reef in the main. We know as we go, in between Dominica and Martinique, and Martinique. Uh, it's going to go back up to like 18, 20 knots. Um, so we just uh, motor sailed and right now I need to quickly get the stay sail while well, there is no wind uh, unfurled and then we'll get going again. Experimenting with the, uh, we had the stay sail. It was quite windy, um, but now uh, we had to bear away 90 degree, 90 degree through an angle. So um, we unfurled the Genoa, and for the time being, and keeping the stay sail. So we had done some testing for fun of the stay sail with the code 65 which is attached all the way on the bowsprit so that gives a much bigger um, window in between the two in this case this is the gap it looks pretty good Well, we made it. Oh, almost. <laughs> we almost made it. We this made it light. to Martinique, but we bailed because we didn't bail. We we anchored <laughs> early so Stefan could sleep because he likes to tinker and he doesn't nap. What's your level of exhaustion? Mine. Yeah. I'm I'm pretty beat. What about you? Yeah, between the. Yeah, I mean, it's not easy miles um, and then the accumulation of this upwind sailing uh, definitely adds up mm. and then you feel also like um, you're getting close but you're not there yet 
and the temptation was to continue but we would have had to anchor around midnight one o'clock in the morning uh, then you look at the satisfaction of being done but uh, we found out on No Throwing Land that uh, Sailing Curious and Utomia 51 Some friends of ours uh, Yeah, they were, they were sitting, leaving uh, Dominica and so we reached out to them and they say, oh, we're going to anchor there and we debated and we say, okay, let's have a night, a good night's sleep and then uh, we need to be today, is what, Tuesday night? Yeah, Tuesday night Yeah, and thanks to uh, Curious because we came at night and Stan came with his dinghy to say you can anchor here. We're so used to anchoring two meters of water, we anchor in ten meters. <laughs> yeah, so we'll see what happens. Yeah, so. Anyway, we made it to Martinique. Um, it's not Trinidad yet, but man, I'm just so done with going upwind. Wow, well, huh? you're looking forward already. Like there were, we still have to get to the I know. Mala. I know. And uh, so there's still some sailing to do, and um, and then uh, yeah. So, I don't know, I'm tired right now. Yeah, he's like going on and on. <laughs> hey! Punch drunk, that's what I called you. Okay. He's a little loopy. So we're on the road again. Um, after sleeping 12 hours, which was nice. Uh, we are uh, off and running. Very little wind so far, but we're gonna catch um, some good east wind to take us down to finish off in um, St. Anne in Martinique and you must feel like a brand new person. Oh man, yeah, I think slept solid for 11 and a half hours, <laughs> went to bed at 8, which never do. Um, yeah, that feels great and we're in Martinique, that was the first accomplishment, but now we need to get to St. Anne. So we're going to take advantage of the easterlies today because the next few days is more like southeast and we don't want to do more tacking. If we can do one, um, well, I should not say anything before. I know, don't say The anything. forecasts are absolutely never right. So you kind of just take them with a grain of salt, like, okay, roughly this, but we'll see. So this is what I'm talking about, sort of. We almost have enough wind to move, but there's barely any wind. It's nice and gentle. We just left the anchorage, um, so we put our sails up at the anchorage. I'll show you. And we're just sort of drifting out of here with no waves, which is awesome. So excited about that. Um, and today's gonna be a sunscreen day for Stefan. He got sunburnt yesterday. Naughty. We had a few birds around the boat yesterday but they left us a little present everywhere but this is really nice nice and gentle not even going very fast full Genoa full Maine now I feel like a cruiser <laughs> <laughs> this is so nice we got oh up early and then I, I saw three boats leaving and I'm like okay those cruisers, they know when to move, as opposed we move when we have, not when we have to move, but we move under deadlines, under like, you know, we gotta keep moving, gotta keep moving, and, but we're moving at four knots and uh, chilling. So what are you gonna do next? Uh, I'm going to go inside, uh, have breakfast, no. and uh, I know what the right answer is, I'll work on it, right now. <laughs> Sunscreen. We have 15 knots of wind, and uh, we just picked up the pace here. Oh, sorry, 17 knots of wind, and we're going, uh, we just picked up to about 10 knots boat speed. Nice. So, so much for our leisurely uh, little cruise up the coast of Martinique here, or down the coast, I should say. Um, we went to 20, 22 knots of wind, and uh, the boat, uh, we had to put two reefs in the main and switch to stay sail, which we did.
there's nothing like having the right sails um, so you can, you know, feel co more confident operating the boat, not worrying about what's going to happen. And um, yeah, so it's gotten a little more active here in the last hour or so. Yeah, we are in a coastal sailing mode, which uh, we haven't been in a long time. Uh, there's fishing, fishing buoys. We're sitting close to the coast, so we get um, uh, on the leeward side of Martinique. So we're trying to stay in flatter waters and stay close to, uh, to the coast because we don't want to lose ground going west since we have to turn east ultimately. But it's uh, shifty, it's gusty, uh, so we found a happy medium and, and then we put the dagger boards both down deck level and we do just tacking on, on headers and, and whatever wind shifts and taking advantage of like basically the easy, uh, very maneuverable boat with minimal to do. So we'll see, the wind uh, is doing some crazy angles so we'll have to see uh, around the corner what happens. So we're tacking back and forth to try to clear this little passage. Here's what um, the rug that you're showing the camera is this one. The, the point we're trying to round is this one. The wind is roughly coming this way. So we're going to have to be tacking. So this what, what's passe de fou? Pass de fou is the cut of the crazies so that's that's us no <laughs> yeah, yeah it is we have enough space wait, 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 wait. no 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 because if they call it the passage Pass de fou, uh, of the crazies cut, cut of the crazies maybe that means you're not supposed to go through it uh that means uh, only for those with with uh confidence <laughs> we'll we'll get closer we'll see but if we go like this boat is going outside then we are basically going to have going around the rock here but also there so is the other boats are going outside no, no i don't know about this one what he did this one is going outside but because you have a sandbank here oh, there's another food. no this one is coming this way that's what i'm saying well but that's easier like he's going downwind so, so that's more manageable the the we're going to be attacking we're going to find the right angle between the rock and the point the diamond and we're going to go deeper inside uh, where the water will be uh, flatter and uh, hopefully we get maybe some eddies of the current to help us. But once you're committed to go outside, you have to go way outside before you can tack back. So you're going to... Uh, the passage of the crazies. So we made it to Martinique, um, of course not without a big adventure to share, which is um, we arrived in 20 to 25 knots of wind um, and had to come into St. Anne, which is where we got T-boned, and try to find um, a spot. So after going around and dropping an anchor and picking it back up again because we ended up backing up too close to somebody. Um, we found a really nice wide open spot, which later we found out is because it's open because it's over a wreck. So Stefan went down, dove on the anchor. It's not really a wreck, it's like a couple, couple boulders and maybe a lobster pot or something. So that's the good news. But the bad news is um, we were gonna move, but now there's a boat on top of our anchor. That's the new situation. These guys here in this boat are going to leave tomorrow, so it's possible we can go up and take their spot, but we need to get our anchor retrieved uh, before we do that. And it's windy. It's really windy. It's about 20 knots right now. 
So that's what's going on. We were able to enjoy St. Anne, which of course includes enjoying some crepes. Thank you so much for watching and please subscribe or comment. We don't monetize our channel, but you have no idea what having your moral support means to us.